Whenever you're graphing structure looking for fish, one thing you got to do first of all is figure out the active range, the depth that the fish are in. So what I do a lot of times is I just simply zigzag in and out of shallow to deep looking for fish and maybe even bait. Here on Last Mountain Lake, uh, it seems like the active zone for us has been anywhere from like 20 all the way down to like 35 feet. Now, on my screen, on my sonar screen, I use a pallet called pallet number 13. And the nice thing about 13 is first of all, it shows the real dark brown here for the uh, bottom. So you can precisely see what the bottom was. But what's really nice is that it's got a lot of different colorations for the fish that are in on the screen. For example, right here, you see here's a green in that thing. That means that it's got a real strong return. Anytime you see green in a fish, that's really good. You'd for sure want yellow though to figure out if you've got a good fish down there or not. They turn back here. One other thing you'll see here is like here, here's a bunch of like red marks. Those red marks aren't as big. I mean, they just, that, that's not as good a fish. You're really looking for that green, especially on this pallet 13. As I graph along here, you'll see on this side, the plotter side of the screen, that I've got what's called Sonar Chart Live on. And what Sonar Chart Live does is actually graph out the contour lines. You'll see here, if I turn off this, it's simply an overlay. If I turn off the overlay, uh, Last Mountain Lake doesn't have like one foot contour maps. It has no real good mapping at all. But by simply turning back on the overlay to Sonar Chart Live, now I'm actually graphing out this uh, spot as I drive along. And it's kind of cool, the more times you go over it, the better the graphing will be. So you'll have a real nice map there that's saved right in the unit. So when you're graphing structure, especially sharp structure, looking for fish, make sure you zigzag in and out, look for that active zone where you're seeing a lot of those green colored fish, pallet 13, and that will actually help you throw that shiver minnow out there where you've got a really good chance of getting a bite.